Hi, we're in Vibrant Patea. Today we're going to show you what it's like living in an apartment in the middle of central Patea. So come with us, we'll show you everything we've got here. This is the foyer of building A. So I don't know what they've got that in the middle of the floor for, but this is what it looks like. Most days, if you come through the foyer, there's always people sitting around. And I'm not sure if it's just because there's Wi-Fi down here and maybe not in their rooms or something. I'm not sure, but there is always heaps of people sitting around in this area. This is where all the residents have their mailboxes. So basically just a room of mailboxes in here. When we arrived, we needed to come to the mailbox of our room and that's where our key was kept for us to be able to enter our room. Radio, room building A. We don't live in building A, we live in building B, which is right next door. But we're going to head up now to level 31 to check out the rooftop pool. So come with me. And here's the infinity pool with a glass fence around it. <laughs> so I, I said it was an infinity pool, but Alan thinks that it's, it's not really counted, which is fair enough. <laughs> And you can tell you're in Thailand because look, all the shoes before you go up. So let's just head up and have a look. So this is what we're seeing from the top pool deck. That's over there is Jom Tian. And then over there is where the fairies go to the island, I believe. And just people having a nice time swimming. At the moment, the viewing platform up the top is closed for construction. That's what that big green sheet is, um, just blocking it off. But it doesn't stop people from having a great time here. All the pools around here seem to be only three foot deep, by the way. Okay, so heading into the workroom, it's called the Night Lounge and it's open from 7am in the morning till 10pm at night. Now we're getting all these funny looks because we just turned the aircon off for the, so we can video. <laughs> but uh, this is the room where you come in, you can work quietly and it's got aircon in here as I was just saying and a lovely view. So check out the view. Yeah, we did now from we, just the pool. Yeah. Area two, We've got view. one of these on both building B, which we'll go to shortly and show you where we go and work. Level three on tower num tower A, and this is called the afternoon chill terrace. So basically, what's on here are some lounge chairs, this little pond, I guess you'd call it. Al's making the most of the chill afternoon. 
you relax there? I've never come over here. We've always gone over that other side where the pool is. Yeah. I've always wondered what it was like to lay back on one of these. Well, after you finish chilling, you can go and do some boxing. There's a boxing bag just over there too. Yeah, maybe not. And just across from this building is where we usually go swimming, which is on level three in Tower B. Now, most days I'd say you can't really sit out here because it gets pretty hot in Pattaya. Uh, but today we've had some thunderstorms and it's overcast, so it's quite nice out here. Still people in the pool. A um, little bit of noise, but mostly you don't hear any noise at all. It's about night time, we don't hear any noise or anything that bothers us in our apartment. It's a pretty good location. Yeah, it's a good location. Now we're going to head over to the car park. Exciting, I know, but let's go and check it out. Yeah, it's definitely a car park. Just waiting for the lift to go up to the roof. So we're on the roof of the car park. Hi! <laughs> this was a little bit unexpected. Yeah. So there's a children's play area over here. And on this side, there's some basketball, well, a basketball court. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna show us how it's done. <laughs> See, so you can at least hit the board. Oh, what? What? <laughs> and, he, and he's walking out the gate so he doesn't have to do it again. <laughs> they got a bit of everything here, haven't they? Yeah. Like, this would be great for veggie gardens. Like and you wouldn't even think that they'd have it above a car park. Yeah. Here's another look at the pool. Level three pool in Tower B. And the guy is cleaning the buildings over here. Are you coming? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I am. Right, so we're now going to head over to building B, which is where we live. And if we head up, there's the lifts. If you head up towards the front of the building, this is what they call the juristic office. Everyone's deliveries, the girls in the office working. And then down around here, we have the mailboxes. Okay, so. Which floor? 27? Three. Oh, three. So we're now on level three in Tower B. If you come here, we've got the children's room. Now, this is basically a babysitting room where kids come in and play. There's a desk over there for the parents or the nannies. And it's a good little setup in here. Then it's straight across from that, there's the aerobics room. So Al looks good in his tights, dancing in his aerobics while he's working out. <laughs> So here's the room. Yeah, it's a bit too warm for my ankle warmers. Yeah, so there's the bouncy balls over there. Well, not bouncy balls, I don't think you're supposed to bounce them, but the exercise balls, a nice big mirror over there so you can watch yourself work out. Yeah, and there are both, both rooms are air -con. Now we're going to the gym. The gym's also air -con. Okay, so in here, oh, we've got a rare moment. This is the first time we've been in here and there's been no one in here. So there's always people in here. So the gym's not too bad. You've got your bicycles, your electrical chairs, your walkers, and then you've got your weight machines and your weights along the front there. Mirrors again to watch yourself work out. And then if you turn around here, you've got the view of the pool on level three. Right, yeah, so we're just leaving the gym, we're heading out to the pool. This is the pool we come down to each day to have a swim. There's always at least three or four people 
maybe five, in the pool swimming. It's about three, three and a half foot deep. And we do walking laps up and down the pools. It's quite, it's quite a good pool. Like aqua aerobics without all the dancing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then on the other side behind those guys down the end there, there is, sorry, <laughs> there is a smaller pool for kids. So just go for a little walk down here. This flooring is really slippery. I actually fell on it yesterday, which um, was quite embarrassing. But if you have a look here, this one here is a good size for the little kids. Well, we'll bypass our floor now and we'll head up to the roof. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot about that. I was thinking we're going directly back to our room now. But we'll do the roof first and then we'll show you what our apartment looks like. Room 27, let's go. Room 27? <laughs> 427, let's go. So up here, it's like a garden area when you walk out, but then there's this viewing platform that's air conned, just like on the other building. A lot better, I like it. Then uh, that's where we go pretty much every day to work on our computers. Here's another little garden. Everything's just so cute, isn't it? <laughs> There's the pool, that's the pool, right at the top of the building there where we were just at. And the viewing platform. And the viewing platform. So here's the nice view over here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Just look at the view. This is the pics. It's probably not the best day to get a view, but you know, that's life. That's life. Now this is what we call the day lounge. The day lounge is open from 7 to 10pm and it's got Wi-Fi. And this is usually where Al and I sit. This is our desk that we've planned. And then, while we're working, we've got this beautiful view to look out on. To our room. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> and here we are. So, this is it. Have a look around. What you see is what you get. It's a one bedroom condominium. So we've done a little bit of reshuffling with the furniture because we've ended up that table here was in the kitchen, but we moved it out of the kitchen and moved the, the puffer into the- The what? The puffer. The puffer? Isn't it a puff? A I don't know, what do you call it? But We moved the puff into the kitchen just so we've got a little pantry. Um, because that just made it easier for us to do some work here and we didn't feel like we were just sitting in like a kitchen box when we were on our computers. So that's the living room. We've got a TV, a cupboard, a lounge and now the dining table. And then you come into the kitchen. The kitchen's got a glass door that you can close off. Oh, that sounds better. And oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a glass door that you can close off so if you're in here cooking or 
if you've got some airflow in here, you can just close off so the aircon doesn't escape. We have a microwave down the bottom. Did you see it? Yeah. We have a cooktop here. <laughs> Took a little while to work out how to use this, but for anyone who comes to Thailand and doesn't know, up underneath, there's a switch that you have to turn on. So there's the trick for that one. We've got some cupboards, a good sized fridge, and then you might wanna go out here, Al. We've got our washing hanging out, but there's a washing machine out there in a veranda. So show what you can see out there. Our bananas <laughs> and wheat picks. Our wheat picks and bananas that we have for brekkie every morning. Um, okay, so then behind the living room, we have the bathroom. Actually, you might just want to go in there yourself. We have the bathroom and shower. The shower's got a, um, a little thing that was hard to work out how it works, but you just turn the switch on up here. <laughs> I'm sure I can work that out then. <laughs> well, it's a little bit different, isn't it? And then here is our very small bedroom. And I can tell you what, the mattress is like, if you think you know firm mattresses in Thailand, mattresses are super firm. So it feels like we're sleeping on one hour. Yeah, it's like we're sleeping on a door. Yeah, um, it is. I got a bad back from it, and I know it's not from Shag's back. <laughs> so we're sleeping on a very firm thing here. And then we've got a little TV here, and then I've got enough room along here just to have a little walk. And... This is reality TV for us. This is what we see. Alan's yeah. already spotted a few naked butts out the window. <laughs> My eyesight's not great for long distances, so I've been missing them. So this is what we have for two months. So Home for two months. Yeah, we're excited to be here. It's um, been kind of just like living at home, hasn't it? Because we're not doing all the touristy things all the time and we're just waking up and doing some work and going out to dinner each night and then coming... Coming back and whatever. doing more work. And, yeah, it's just been yeah. like, we could have been doing this anywhere. So we've picked probably one of the cheapest places in the world to do it. And this apartment ended up costing us just over $1,100 for seven, seven and, and a half, half weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we just said the same thing like twinsies. Yeah. Like we're only one, <laughs> we're one street back from the beach. Yeah, you can't yeah. complain about that at all. It's fantastic. Like looking mm. out the window here, I can see the boats on the harbour out there. Um, the way that we found this is we did a lot of searching. We were looking at hotels and we we're looking at um, booking.com and all those sort of things, marketplace. I went to Airbnb and that's where I ended up getting this deal. Now, a couple of things, a couple of little tips for Airbnb. We used to do Airbnb ourselves, didn't we? Yeah, and we, it was... we rented out three rooms. Yeah. yeah. And so we know from the background of doing that, that if you book a place on Airbnb for seven nights, you get a discount. Or if you book a, a room for 30 nights, you'll get a bigger discount. So be aware of that. Sometimes you can stay a place seven nights for the same price or $100 more than what you'd pay if you stayed four nights. So we put in the um, longest period and we got a discount, of course, because we're staying more than 30 nights. So that's how we ended up getting it for $1,100. But you can get them cheaper. Like you can get them cheaper than that as well. Um, and you can also definitely get them a lot more expensive. We didn't go marketplace. They were a lot cheaper on marketplace on Facebook, but I just like the security of knowing that we had the uh, Airbnb platform in case anything went wrong. Um, and I didn't want to get scammed either. So now the reason we did seven and a half weeks is because um, we visas 
visas was the problem. You've only got visas for 30 days and 30 day extension. So it's a maximum of 60 days. Yeah, and you yeah. don't even, at the moment, Thailand, um, you don't have to extend after 30 days anymore. Um, they're just giving you 60 days straight out when you go through customs. Until they change it again. Yeah, so yeah. we got lucky. We heard it was 60 days, so we booked for this 59 days and um, had our fingers crossed as we were going through customs. She asked us how long we were staying for. We said 59 nights, so straight away she just gave us the 60 night stamp. But I have heard sometimes they stamp you um, 30 nights or sometimes 15 nights too, so. Okay, so let's finish with what's your negatives and positives for the apartment? Mm, okay, my worst thing would be... The mattress. Oh, I was going to say the space. Like the, I'd like it a bit bigger. Yeah, the space. Mm. It's not quite big enough an apartment but it is doable and uh, we're going to be here for seven and a half weeks so it's doable it's bigger than a caravan we're, we're just user <laughs> we're just used to bigger spaces yeah, yeah. Um, but the space is what you really do get in thailand anyway yeah it's not this is a small apartment every apartment's small so yeah we've had a look at others and they were the same size so yeah, yeah. um and then yeah what you said the bed the bed the bed being no, so that's just, hard that's and to be honest, I think it's because the owners are Japanese and they like the hard bed. They're used to hard beds. Well, we think they're Japanese. Right. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> we think so because of how hard the bed is. Yeah. But um, each time we've had problems, like we've had uh, the hot water system stopped working and one of the lights blew out. Uh, that problem was fixed within like an, a half an hour of us. He's been so good. Yeah, yeah, the owner's been great. He's had fantastic communication from the minute that I booked. So I couldn't be happier with um, the host. Mm. Okay, good things about the apartment. The good thing is there's um, the work rooms that are air conned and with amazing views that I'll probably never have again in my life while I'm working. And the swimming pools are amazing. Yeah, they're not bad. Um, location, location, mm. location. This is great location. You're right in central Pattaya. Uh, you're one street back from the beach. And the shopping centre. And, and the central shopping plazas just across the road. Mm -hmm. um, it's all happening, all the restaurants. All a lot the, of restaurants. All the bars, we don't do the bars, but all the bars are here. Yeah. Yeah, it's central. Yeah. No more, what other positives? That was a lot of positives. That was a lot of positives. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, so... Oh, but I get to spend all this time with my wife. That's a big positive. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fix me up later. <laughs> so, anyway... That's, our, that's where we're staying. That gives you a taste of what we're doing and how much it costs. How much does it cost for seven and a half weeks? $1,100. $1,100. You can't complain about that. It's like less than two weeks rent in Brisbane or Quentin Gold Coast. Yeah. Le yeah, just over one week's rent. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and our days, are, our days are really cheap too. I don't think we're even spending $25 a day, are we? If we, were, if we were drinkers, we may spend more, but because we don't drink a lot anymore. All we really spend money on is it's just food. dinner and Coming groceries. Out, yeah, dinner and groceries. Yeah. yeah. And that's a lot cheaper than Australia. Mm. I've got to take a credit card every time I go to Coles. <laughs> you, know, at home. you need to get over your Coles fixation and your I've got this real fixation Australian with, shopping thing. I go down to get gross, get food for dinner. I end up walking out and it costs less than 70 bucks. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, he's been harping about this for months. Yeah. <laughs> Every day I hear it nearly. It's good to be entirely. <laughs> right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, um, our next video will probably... Well, actually, we've still got to do our planning for videos, don't we? We've yeah. been a bit slack with our video planning, but... We're in holiday mode. <laughs> there will be one every Sunday. So... Yeah. Um, Pop on every Sunday around lunchtime and it should be up. Yeah. Okay. See you later. See you next one. Bye. Ta-da. If you found this video entertaining, helpful or inspiring, would love for you to consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell. Subscribing will ensure that you never miss out on any of our future content that we create, especially for you.